Welcome to the Hawks Nest. This is OCAA women's basketball, a matchup between the home court Humber Hawks and the visiting Redeemer Royals. My name is Matt Hamill. With me is my broadcast partner, Adam Lucier. And Adam, the Hawks suffered a loss early on in the season, but now they bounced back pretty well on the heels of some key players, especially Leticia Lopez. A little bit of a bump in the road there, dropping that first game of the season to Fanshawe. But as you mentioned, the stars are out to shine so far in the season. You've seen Leticia Lopez. She's sitting at 27 triples on the year, on pace to break the OC AA single season record. And for them, these important players are doing fantastic. And as you see, the record shows, sitting 6 and 1, sitting just behind Fanshawe and Sheridan. Yeah, Hummer dropping that first game. They're on a six game win streak, hoping to continue that run today. They have another game coming up on Saturday against the Conestoga Condor. So obviously today you want to kind of get the energy going, get everything firing on all cylinders, and we're heading into the second half of the season. No better time to really hit your stride. Yeah, this is all but it. They have one more game, as you mentioned, before the holiday break. And with short rest coming up, let's see what A.J. Sharma does and possibly getting some depth players into this game and really stretching his bench and giving them some minutes as the Hawks have a crammed schedule leading up to Christmas. We'll throw to Danielle on the sideline. Thank you very much, Matt and Adam. Now, as you said, the Humber women's basketball team are going up against the Redeemer Royals. Now, but for the Royals, it's definitely going to be a tough match because they're going up against one of the toughest teams in OCAA. And right now, the start of the season isn't really the best for Redeemer, coming off of five losses. So it's definitely going to be a fight today. And back to our commentators for more in the game. Thank you. Thank you, Danielle. It's an apt point. The Redeemer Royals are having a bit of a tough start. They were able to pick up those two wins in Sault Ste. Marie recently. And now it's a matter of piecing everything together. They're having a pretty good outing this year from number 10, Toby Brinkman, averaging 17.7. That's right up there in the OCAA. Yeah, you see on the graphic there, tough opening to the season for Redeemer, those five straight losses. but playing some respectable basketball as of late as they've clawed back with a couple wins. But they're up against quite the test tonight as these Humber Hawks are coming out flying with six straight victories. Yeah, Coach A.J. Sharma, look at that all-time record. 148 wins, 23 losses all-time. Truly remarkable, and he will definitely go down in the pantheon of those great Humber coaches, not just basketball, Humber coaches, period. But he's had some pretty good players to work with. This year where you see Alina Domingo on the court, no longer on the team, and players like C.J. Nofuente have really helped this program along so much, Adam, but it's really been that key cog in the sphere, Coach A.J. Sharma all the way. Yeah, some of the names you mentioned there, absolute pillars of the Humber basketball community, and a few of the players on this roster will certainly add their name to this list, but... A lot of credit must go the way of A.J. Sharma as he's produced competitive basketball teams year in and year out. Looks like we'll just step away for the national anthem and we'll be right back with you here on the Hawks Sports Network. Hawks, at this time we would ask you to please stand if you're able for the playing of our national anthem. And we are back just moments away from tip-off. 
Adam, we mentioned some key players for the Humber Hawks. The return of Laura Meadows, Leticia Lopez, who has just been lights out from three-point territory. And don't forget MCG, Maya Campbell Johnson has just been tremendous. She's posted three double-doubles this season and probably looking for a similar performance here tonight. Yeah, those are some big names you dropped there. MCJ especially, she dropped her third double-double of the season in the Hawks' last vis victory over U of T, Mississauga. Also, the mention of Laura Meadows, a fifth year returning, making her season debut after a major injury. Head coach AJ Sharma says she brings a level of toughness and her compete level is something that's unmatched on this Humber roster. together by head coach AJ Sharma. A 5-6 guard at a Toronto, Ontario, number five, Britannia Brown. A 5-8 guard at a Toronto, Ontario, number seven, Makiba Taylor. A 5-3 guard at a Toronto, Ontario, and number 10, Leticia Lopez. A 5-9 guard at a Cannington, Ontario, number 15, Jamie Gordon. And a 6-foot forward at a Brampton, Ontario, number 16, Maya Campbell Johnson. There it is, the starting lineup for your Humber Hawks. And it's time for tip off. The officials are getting ready. We have a good crowd here in the Hawks Nest on a Wednesday evening. Stay tuned at 8 o'clock. The men's game is slated to start. Look like they're ready to go. Looking forward to this one. Let's see how quick of a start Humber's able to get off. Opening tip. We will have a another throw. Looks like that opening tip was not quite satisfactory. See if the official can improve on his second effort here. Refs are people too. We're going to go for the, we're going to settle for the, <laughs> they'll accept that one. Because it doesn't affect Humber too much as Jamie Gordon gets the offense Both started times. off. Yeah, Jamie Gordon able to keep that ball. Now she gets the ball down low. We saw Jamie working on these moves pregame. Nice steal there. Julia Pavlik. Quick turnover for Humber and Katrina Martin. They'll put a bucket in. The first points of the game go to Redeem. See Makiba Taylor on that inbound, just saying a short word to her team, just letting them settle them down. Just two points on the board thus far for Redeemer. Three point put up, no good from Batania Brown. The ball once again in the hands of Pavlik. She's one that will really kickstart this offense tonight for the Royals. Redeemer set up. Offensively on the perimeter right now. Good drive to the hoop. Rebounded by Maya Campbell Johnson. Nice drive there by Martin, but just unable to finish with the left hand. See the Ticia Lopez. Just a three ball there. That's not something we see too often. She's on pace to break the OC double A single season record. She's averaging 9.3 three pointer attempts per game. So that will certainly not be the last shot we see her put up tonight. And a missed pass there, bit of a 
slow start for the Humber Hawks offensively. They've yet to get on the board with three possessions. Yeah, miscommunication there between MCJ and Lopez. They're two powerhouses of this offense. They're going to need to get them clicking sooner rather than later. And Redeemer is clicking right away and right on cue. They uh, ill-advised pass, turned over. Humber misses the layup, rebounded by Lopez. She'll bring it out. Deep shot from Campbell Johnson. Doesn't fall. A good rebound by Jamie Gordon, but the ball will go the other way. Travel on number 10, Lopez. A little bit of a sloppy possession there. You saw Britannia Brown come in and miss that easy layup. Fairly casual that shot attempt, and nothing able to get going after that offensive rebound. Yeah, you can chalk it up to pre-game jitters, but the Humber Hawks look a little bit flat in the early going. Redeemer leads 2-0. First time on home court in a little while for Humber, so maybe just need to get their legs under them here. Quick shot, doesn't go. Another rebound from Lopez. Five foot three, two rebounds. Good move to the hoop, and there's Humber's first bucket by Nikita Taylor. Kiva Taylor mentioned pregame. She's one to look out for. Foul call there on Britannia Brown. She's got a little too physical on that early game pressure. Yeah, this one already has quite the big game feel to it as it's been pretty tightly contested thus far. No easy shots going up for either side. Royals inbound. Good turnover, Hawks ball. Yeah, sloppy play continues as we take a look at that replay of that bucket made by Makiba Taylor, but Pavlik dribbled that one just off her own toes. Now possession opportunity for Humber. Deep shot there from Taylor. Won't fall. MCG can't come away with the rebound. Humber with a heads up play again, a missed layup, but the Hawks will get a chance to regroup. That's the second steal now for Britannia Brown, unable to finish either opportunity. With each and every turnover, Humber is looking for points now as they've been unable to capitalize so far tonight. You see AJ Sharma on the sideline, been very vocal. Maybe he thinks he needs to energize his team with some intensity right now because need something to get going as we have an out-of-bounds call. The Deemer Royals will maintain possession. And when the Hawks have needed a spark all season long, it's usually come from the defensive side of the ball. So let's see if this defense could keep those turnovers coming and hopefully get some points off it. Inbounded now. Three-point shot by Martin. Doesn't fall. Both Taylor. teams fairly cold on the floor thus far. Lopez at the three-point line, elects not to shoot. Taylor directing traffic. They're going to want to get Lopez on a rhythm earlier rather than later, unable to get their ball in the hands of the playmakers. And very early, you see Janae Giles taking her, her warm-up sweater. Hawks are going to make a substitution. Good block by Campbell Johnson, and that will bring in two players for the Hawks. Laura Meadows checking in. And that's a great story. Meadows, we mentioned, coming back after a major injury. And head coach A.J. Sharma said there's a little bit of rust to be worked off, and conditioning is definitely a factor, but he loves the compete level that she brings to this lineup, and he says she'll be a big part of the team as they push towards the playoffs. That's a possession for the Hawks. Good feed to Kendra Johnson. And the Hawks will take a lead. Smooth play by Taylor there over to MCJ. And that's what, exactly what she needed, some early points to get on the board. Royals working the ball offensively. Hawks not giving up anything easy on the inside. Now here's Kendrick Johnson on D. Missed shot there. MCJ showing her ability to contribute on either side of the floor. Ooh, Laura Meadows with a great fake shot, but that drive to the hoop. Unsuccessful, doesn't quite fall. Yeah, the fifth year already making her presence felt. She's a big addition to this team as few injuries having to deal with, especially Janae Giles, who's sitting out tonight's contest. Good rebound by Taylor. Looks like she's going to foul for coming over the top. 
was Alex Webb for the Royals that hit the turf. Yeah, you got to appreciate the aggressiveness there on that rebound attempt, but as you mentioned, going over the top, that'll draw the foul more often than not. Now Ebony Beals checking into the game for Humber. So three players from that starting lineup currently on the bench. We'll see if that turns things around. Good defense by Laura Meadows will draw the travel. It's Lucy Brinkman that tried to go up with it. So here's Leticia Lopez. Let's see if she gets a little more freewheeling with those shot attempts, but she'll dish it off here in this possession. On the outside. That shot does not go for Giles. Back the other way come the Royals. Pavlik has been the distributor tonight. Yeah, a great pass there, second chance opportunity. Bounces out. Deep shot, taken away by Beals. It's a very long two attempt there, a bit of an odd shot selection there by Redeemer. Meadows with some great moves to the hoop, off the glass, again, she can't buy one right now. Yeah, she's doing all the right things, just unable to get any bounces or rolls to go her way, and I'm sure with the time she's missed, she wants some points on the board early for herself. Yeah, she looks dynamite out there, just can't get that finish at the rim. It's kind of the story of this game. We're halfway through the first. The score here is 4-2. Wow, yeah, a little shot. bit of sloppy play so far, a lot of turnovers, a lot of missed shots from the field, but if anything, it's sooner rather than later, these shots are going to start dropping with hot hands like Leticia Lopez. Good pass there, and we'll have a foul call on Makiba Taylor. Two shots coming up for Alex Webb, first-year player on the Royals. Personal foul number two, team foul number three. Now, if I told the Royals with 3.45 left in the first that they would only allow four points to Humber, I think they would have been pretty pleased, but the way this one's playing out, they pull themselves with it one, just three points on the board. Yeah, you got to wonder when the Hawks are going to find their rhythm. Just the bounces really aren't going their way. Nice punch out there by Brown, but it finds its way into the hands of Pavlik. Sometimes you just got to weather the storm. And the Royals looking to get ahead. Second chance opportunity, turnover. Good steal there by Britannia Brown. That's her third of the game. Ooh, good effort play by Ebony. Beals went down hard, but seems no worse for wear. She'll draw it back up the court. And once Taking again, away. Brown. And the Hawks convert on that layup. Britannia Brown, really the spark that Humber's needed. She's had four turnovers so far today. Giles gets a hand on that one. Redeemer working the ball on the outside. Shot put up by Blackburn and the first three-pointer of the game. By Michaela Blackburn. Some big points there for Redeemer as they find themselves back in it. And there's Lopez draining a three. That's her first of the night. For 28th of the season, that leads the league. Score here is 9-6 in favor of the Hawks in a sputtering offensive quarter here for both teams. Good defense by Laura Meadows. Another three-point attempt by the Royals. Won't go. Rebounded by Giles with a Jacobs pass. absolute Hail Mary pass. Jacobs rather, yeah, long pass. Out of bounds. It'll be Hawks ball, but That'll be right after this timeout. Adam, what do you think of the early going here? As we mentioned, it's been a bit of a cold shooting night. Neither team really off to a hot start. And the head coaches here have to drop a game plan offensively to get either side going as we sit just 9-6 with 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Score here is 9-6. The difference now is that Leticia Lopez 
three-pointer that she hit just before the timeout here. So Hawks hoping that she can get herself on the board more often than not. And also looking at MCJ, who is usually a very strong con contributor, I believe just two points so far in the night. So that's also a name that is going to look to contribute more as this game goes on. Campbell Johnson averaging 14.5 on the season. And Lopez leading the team just above her with 16.7. And for as much as MCJ does offensively, let's not forget she also leads the team with 55 rebounds. So really a contributor on both ends of the floor that plays big minutes for head coach AJ Sharma. And there's someone they need day in and day out to be successful if they want some victories on the court. Yeah, when you talk rebounds, Humber leads the OCAA with an average of 52 per game. Not something we've seen too much of tonight. The rebounding definitely needs some improvement as we move on into the second quarter here. Out of the timeout, a deep shot by Natanya Brown. Doesn't fall, Hawks get the rebound. Back to Brown. Makes her way to the hoop and the ball is stolen away. Just starting to see some stronger ball movement from the Hawks, but that pass by Brown there finds the hands of Pavlik. The Hawks are normally such a good passing team, and we just have not seen that tonight. Yeah, it usually starts with Leticia Lopez. She sits there on the top of the arc and really is the quarterback of this offense, but some good D and also some miscues by the Hawks have allowed a low-scoring game to continue. Beals off to Jacobs. Beals on her way to the hoop, off the glass. Two points for number 11, Ebony Beals. Like what I've seen there, there from Beals attacking the rim hard. That aggression could pay big dividends for the Hawks so far tonight. Good defensive play by the Hawks off a missed shot by the Royals. Back the other way, power move by Maya Campbell Johnson. Bit of a mismatch there on the 5'8", Julia Pavlik. Yeah, that's a matchup that I'm sure Sharma's going to want to exploit all night long as MCJ made light work of Pavlik there in the paint. Score here is 13 to 6 in favor of the Hawks. Royals are on the offensive. Take a deep shot. Nothing but net. And that's a good looking shot there. How about that? Katrina Martin. She gets that one to go. Lopez now, quarterback in the play for Humber. Shot by Jacobs. Won't fall. Redeemer back the other way. Kayla Blackburn fresh off that three-point attempt. Quick shot. Won't go, and that's the last shot of the first quarter. The score here is 13 to 9. We'll be right back with you for the second quarter here in the Hawks' nest.
back ready for second quarter action here on the Hawk Sports Network. And Adam, you can only wonder what head coach A.J. Sharma was saying to the Lady Hawks in the intermission there. Yeah, it starts off with just mental mistakes that have been happening tonight, both on the defensive and offensive side. Trying to limit these turnovers that they've had thus far tonight. Leading scorer so far is MCJ with just four points. So on the offensive side of things, a lot more ball movement, a lot more free-flowing action from these Hawks will pay big dividends on the score sheet. A good move there. Rebounded by the Royals. They can't convert. Maya Campbell-Johnson comes away with the rock. Letitia Lopez working the ball on the perimeter. Shot there from Britannia Brown, doesn't fall. Hawks having a hard time finding that shooting rhythm. Yeah, Brown's put up quite a few shots tonight, unable to find that scoring touch just yet. Only two points on the night so far for her. So Kayla Blackburn now. An important piece for this Redeemer offense. She'll turn it over to Jamie Gordon. Deep shot there, Britannia Brown. And that's what she needed. First three-pointer of the game for Brown is she's starting to find her rhythm here. We'll see if any of the other Hawks can follow suit. That's good defense there. Redeemer with the ball. Shot put up. Again, another swish for Redeemer. Humber doing a nice job to keep Redeemer to just perimeter shots, but for the Royals, they've been making them with some consistency here. They find themselves down just five. Timeout called by the Humber Hawks. Right now the score is 16 to 11. And the number 11 nationally ranked Humber Hawks Starting to maybe piece together their game. We're seeing some more made shots, but just like to see a bit more intensity defensively and, of course, clean up that passing a little bit. Yeah, it's taken them a little bit to get their legs under them here tonight. As at the beginning, it didn't seem like too motivated of a bunch, but as this game goes on, and MCJ and Leticia Lopez get involved defensively, and even Britannia Brown now starting to hit some shots. It's that type of rhythm that gets going for this Humber squad that can really lead to them pulling away here. Mentioned that win earlier this week against UTM. 69 to 56. And we get another look at that Britannia Brown three pointer. Good dish from Jamie Gordon. Shooting from beyond the arc has been a real key to success all season long for Humber. So I'm sure Sharma's going to want to see a lot more from that out of his players tonight. Both teams take the floor. It'll be Redeemer ball under their own hoop. Fox putting on the pressure here. Royals are able to get it onto the Humber side of half. Missed shot at the net. That was Lucy Brinkman. Couldn't get it to fall. Second chance opportunity won't go. Here comes Humber the other way. Five point lead for the Hawks here in the second quarter. Hawks seem to be picking up the pace here on offense. Brown gets fouled. It's a nice hard move to the basket. <laughs> Tanya Brown definitely earned that trip to the charity strike. We'll take a look at the infraction here. Yeah, attacking the rim and is met with bodies. Makes her first free throw here. Brings the score up to 17-11. Second shot is good. The Hawks still keeping that pressure on here. Redeemer does find a way to advance the ball. They've got 10 seconds on the shot clock. Good ball movement on the perimeter. Pull-up shot by Martin. Won't go. It's 
a strong rebound there by MCJ, surrounded by two Royals, able to come down with it. And Leticia Lopez, a nice little Euro step, and she'll get that layup to go. Redeemer to the hoop. That was Katrina Martin being defended by Jamie Gordon. Good job by the Hawks defensively. Yeah, the intensity on defense really seems to be ranching up a notch or two. As the Hawks have really been pressing the Royals early. Humber now on the offensive. Britannia Brown dishes it out to Leticia Lopez for a three. That won't fall. Great vision by Brown to find Lopez. Second chance for Humber. Won't go. Rebounded by Pavlik. Pavlik, a fifth-year player from Waterloo. Campbell Johnson just too tough in the paint there. Strong defense. Out of bounds. It'll be Redeemer ball. They're down nine right now. Yeah, the intensity starting to ramp up, and Humber starting to pull away as the momentum of this game clearly on the side of Humber. Still just how, not as tight of a game as we're used to seeing from Humber, but... Yeah, you look at this uh, game on paper, Redeemer has a 0-39 record all time against the Hawks, so historically this is not exactly the most even of matchups, but Redeemer staying in this one, whether that's, that's their strong play or the play of Humber is yet to be seen, but Humber starting to put things together here. Let's see if the Royals are able to hang in. Quick three-point shot from Pavlik. Doesn't go, rebounded by Lopez. We'll see if she can get going from the three-point line. Play down low to Laura Meadows, and she is fouled. Number 21 will shoot two at the line. And we talked about the level of toughness that Meadow brings. She shows it there, is showing no fear of the defender, goes up and draws that foul. And that's a play that Sharma's gonna wanna see out of her all game long and all season long, as the fifth year is now starting to contribute to this roster. It was her first points of the game. Second free throw coming up. She played just four minutes in that first quarter, so I'm sure they're trying to ease her back into that lineup as A.J. Sharma said conditioning was an issue with all the time that she's had off. Well, she's looked good out there. Clearly a very skilled player offensively. Now the Hawks are trying to stop the game here. Out of bounds call, not too sure who's gonna get possession here. Looks like Redeemer will be inbounding it. Some Lopez substitutions coming in. Lopez did all she could to keep that one in bounds there, but just unable to get to it. But that's the type of hustle play that the Hawks are gonna need more of. Alex Webb with the ball being guarded by Humber. Two foul shots coming up there. Laura Meadows picks up a foul. And that's Larissa Bowman shooting two. Score here is 22 to 11 in favor of the Hawks. The Royals haven't had too many opportunities on the charity stripe so far tonight, so really going to need to take advantage of these opportunities. The Hawks have not allowed any easy points go the way of Redeemer. Larissa Bowman, second shot will go. And now the Hawks are transitioning to offense. Britannia Brown feeds it to Ebony Beals. Good move off the glass, two points. Ebony Beals high off the glass on that one, and that's a pretty looking play as she drops that floater. Pavlik with the ball for the Royals. She makes her way to the hoop. Kicked out to Webb. Bowman being guarded tightly by Laura Meadows. Some short passes by Redeemer is ultimately turned over. Here come the Hawks. And it's the defense of the Hawks that has changed the momentum of this game as they're all over Redeemer. Beals with the ball down low, and she is fouled. Will go to the line for two. Beals has been a different maker 
She's been hard to play against down below the rim as you take a look at that shot there. Looking to add a few more to her point total. A second made free throw here would give her six on the evening with five to go in the second quarter. She will do just that. Two made free throws. The Hawks are up by 14. Here come the Royals the other way. You can see that pressing Hawks D, really a thorn in the side of Redeemer as they try to get some plays going. Yeah, definitely have seen that defensive play of the Hawks picked up, and they'll pick up that rebound and transition to offense. Jacobs almost loses control of that one. Shot by Lopez won't fall. Jacobs all over the floor here, getting their hands in the passing lanes. Yeah, not a pretty breakout for the Royals, but they ultimately do transition to offense and an and one bucket. That was Lucy Brinkman. Yeah, up Brinkman. The and one. She had her work cut out for her going up against Ebony Beals there, but able to draw that foul. the glass for that foul shot. Evidently they keep Lucy Brinkman's money in the bank. <laughs> That's where her money's at. Hawks now on the offensive. Letitia Lopez still looking to get going. She dishes to Ebony Beals. Laura Meadows with a nice reverse layup. Ooh, she hits the ground hard. She'll be helped up by Jacobs. That's yeah, a scary moment there. After all, she's been through to work her way back into the lineup. Don't want to see Meadows go down there, but seems no worse for wear as she'll get back to her defensive assignment. Redeemer with the ball. Almost taken away by Britannia Brown. It's Brown again. Seems to get her hands in the way of a lot of Redeemer plays tonight. Hawks are showing a lot of fight defensively. There's a shot off the glass by Jacobs. Won't go. Royals with possession. They're trailing by 11. Three and a half minutes to go here in the second. If you're the Royals, you have to find some way to score some points in the paint, as they've been unable to do so. And they don't convert on a wide open three pointer there. Good battle under the net between Laura Meadows and Larissa Bowman. Absolutely, they're two players defensively that find themselves under the rim quite a bit. That's Ebony Beals and Laura Meadows. And if you're in opposition trying to score, they're not the two you want to see under there as they play some tough defense. Substitutions coming in for Humber. Campbell Johnson checking back in. You see Redeemer really wants to get the ball to Pavlik here, but Humber defense doing everything they can to prevent that. Redeemer inbounds the ball. On the perimeter. Hawks not giving up anything right now. Shot clock winding down. Stolen away by Campbell Johnson. She might take it all by herself. A little Bit too hard on that layup attempt. It bounces off the bottom side of that backboard. It'll be a humber ball. Yeah, a little out of control by Campbell Johnson coming off the bench. Yeah, MCJ, her first play off the bench, a bit of a fast break, maybe got a little too excited. Hawks back to work offensively. Britannia Brown swings it over to Lopez. That three-pointer won't go. It's been a rough night so far to Lopez beyond the arc. Usually, she's a lot more uh, consistent. A.J. Sharma, I'm sure, is hoping to see a few more of those shots drop for his side. It'll be Redeemer ball. Been a bit of a stretch here with no points scored. Backcourt violation, that right foot of Elisa Zilney. Again, a mental miscue causing trouble for Redeemer here. 
Already down by 11. You don't want to give away too many free possessions. You know, it's worth noting that the Royals are without their top scorer, Toby Brinkman. Number 10, nowhere to be found. Obviously missing her presence tonight as they're trying to keep pace with a high-powered Hawks offense. Maya Campbell-Johnson puts that in the hoop. We'll give her six points on the evening. Ooh, a wild pass there. Out of bounds, it'll be Humber ball. Jamie Gordon checking back in. The pressure of that Hawks D is causing some unfortunate passes for Redeemer. This referee's looking for an inbounder. It's Jamie Gordon who will find her way over. Good rebound by Gordon right off the bench. Trying to get to Lopez. Lopez with a risky play to keep it in. Yeah, could have caused an easy break, but Campbell Johnson able to get to that one. It's Gordon again with the takeaway. Jamie Gordon showing a lot of tenacity. Picking up those boards. Another missed shot from Lopez. Yeah, this hasn't been her night. She's playing well defensively and making a lot of nice passes, but just can't get that three-pointer to drop. Shot put up there. Ooh. Some miscommunication there between MCJ and Jacobs as they both went for that rebound. Luckily, possession remains on the side of Humber. Score here is 28 to 15. Hawks swinging the ball on the perimeter. Brown attacking the hoop off the glass, and that is good. Really like what I've seen offensively there. Threatening with the three-pointer was Brown, but able to dip under her defender and make her way to the basket. A little bit of frustration there from Julia Pavlik as that pass sails out of bounds. Here's another look on the replay. Okay, see Brown there with the three-point look, but she'll drive that baseline and put up two. Candle Johnson with the ball for Humber. Dishes it off to Lopez. Just six on the shot clock. Ooh, good move by Lopez. Can't get it to fall. Gets her own rebound. Wow, good effort. Not one of the tallest players on the floor, but she'll battle for every rebound. For Tiny nice play. Brown, it gets bodied on her way to the hoop. Uh, that's Brinkman with the big block. Pavlik unable to finish. Gordon now with the ball for Humber. Lopez being guarded very tightly by Pavlik. You know, that's a matchup that's been working out for Redeemer thus far, as Lopez has been quiet offensively. Yeah, not her finest of shooting nights, but if I had to guess, she'll find a rhythm sooner rather than later. Yeah, number 12 for Redeemer, you can definitely get the sense she's one of the leaders of this team. Yeah, every possession, Pavlik finds her way to get involved. She averages 14 points a game. And as we mentioned with the loss of Toby Brinkman, who hasn't been seen tonight on the court, it's been up to Julia Pavlik to really lead her team offensively. And a made free throw, the Hawks back the other way. Two seconds left in the half. Gordon tries to put it up, and she's blocked. That'll bring things to a close here. The first half, we have a score of 30 to 16. Humber Hawks been kind of sputtering, but able to establish themselves defensively, and I think that's been what's allowed them to jump ahead here and get a nice, comfortable lead heading into the second half. Yeah, absolutely. Not the strongest of nights for the Hawks' offense, and the shooting's been a little cold thus far, but even the defense who is really taking control of this game, holding the Royals to just 16 points in this first half. So on a night where the offense goes a little bit cold, it's nice to know that you have a strong defense behind you to keep you ahead in this basketball game. Teams head to the locker room. We'll bring you second half action on the Hawk Sports Network. In just a moment, stay with us.
Welcome back to the Hawks Nest. Second half action coming up between the Humber Hawks and the Redeemer Royals. My partner Adam Lucier and myself Matt Hamill are happy to be here with you. And just to recap what we saw in the first half, bit of a slow start from both teams, although we did see Humber pick it up from the defensive side of things, but still some sloppy passing. And I'm sure they're hoping to get things firing on all cylinders here in the second half. Yeah, it's been a cold night shooting as we take a look at some replays here for the first half. But Smooth jazz. It has been the defense that has been shining. While the offense hasn't been as smooth as this jazz, the defense has been locked down so far tonight, so that's a positive. Nicely done, Adam. <laughs> as far as AJ Sharma is concerned, but I'm sure he's not too pleased with the way the girls are shooting the ball tonight. It's been a cold, cold night from the floor. Yeah, especially number 10, Leticia Lopez. Normally ice cold from beyond the arc. I mean, ice cold in veins, rather. She's, she's lights <laughs> out. But today has been just that. It's been a tough time getting going. Yeah, beyond the arc, Leticia Lopez. Her numbers really jump off the page. Already in just seven games, 27 three-pointers on the year, putting her on pace for 78. That would be 10 more than Kelly Kaloran's OCAA record that she put up in the 2012-2013 season. But for Lopez, she's shooting just one for six beyond the arc in the first half. So she wants to start inching towards that record. She's gonna need to have a hot hand here. And right in front of us, we have the Redeemer Royals first year head coach, Jesse Van Howlingen. I'm glad you took that name, Matt. I went for it. <laughs> we have name pronunciations for the players, but not for the coaches, although if it's ever needed and some assistance in that uh, name pronunciation. It's Jesse Van Howlingen. Absolutely, and he's had his work cut out for him tonight, trying to lead these girls against a very strong Hawks defense. Haven't found much success, but let's hope Jesse there is able to come up with some halftime adjustment for the Royals, or else this game could get out of hand pretty soon. Yeah, right now the Royals are trailing by 14 points. And you get the impression it could be a lot worse if A.J. Sharma could find a way to get his girls firing from the offensive side of things. Absolutely. He stresses the interview Sharma does about the defense, the positioning, and what they go over day in and day out in practice. And it shows to be paying off the hard work as far as the defensive game goes. But more shots need to be put up and higher percentage shots need to be put up by these Hawks if they really want to run away with this one. Jamie Gordon was fighting hard the entire first half. She came away with all kinds of rebounds. Laura Meadows getting some minutes, fifth-year player. Yeah, they seem to be working Meadows back into the lineup. She's been impressive thus far. Shot was off the glass for Makiba Taylor. And Humber rebounds the ball, and they'll have to get this thing inbounded here. Deep shot there from Lopez. Won't go, easy pass under the hoop to MCG. Two more points. And on a night when Lopez are missing those shots, it's important that players like MCJ are under the basket to corral those rebounds and get some much needed points. Redeemer working their way to the hoop. They find an open Katrina Martin who can't get that to fall. Yeah, that's an air ball. Once again, only perimeter shots available for Redeemer. Here come the Hawks. Brown to Lopez. Deep shot. Gives Lopez credit. Not firing on all cylinders, but showing no fear of putting those shots up. She's now currently one for eight from three-point range. Just over a minute into the third quarter, Humber leading by 16. Just five on the shot clock. Taylor to the hoop. Won't go, Maya Campbell Johnson hits the deck. Looks like she'll be shooting two. The foul is number 25, 
Yeah, no shot here. Humber will inbound the ball from the baseline. Nobody open. Finally, for Tanya Brown. Finding some space. Lopez with the shot, and there it is. A three-pointer from Lady Luck, Leticia Lopez. You know, when you have the pedigree she does shooting three-pointers, you know they're going to start dropping sooner rather than later. Love the confidence that Lopez has, showing no fear, chucking up those shots. Brown to the hoop, and two quick points for Humber. A bit of an offensive explosion here the past couple possessions. Yeah, don't look now, but the Hawks offense might have just woke up. Let's see if they can keep things rolling along. Campbell Johnson picks up the... No, no foul call. Actually, a travel Sound. there. Charge to Lucy Brinkman. It's that strong interior defense by MCJ. Earns a possession for the Hawks. There's Maya on her way to the hoop. Fouled and now Maya will shoot two. Back to back fouls charged to Lucy Brinkman. She'll work her way off the court. Here comes Larissa Bowman. First shot coming up from Maya Campbell Johnson. 87 points on the season. Not too shabby. You've seen her way up on the scoring leaders each and every game that Humber plays. Really a key cog in the gear of this Humber squad. Yeah, she's one of those returning players from last year's national championship winning squad. She brings experience and has a decided height advantage under the net. Ooh, sloppy pass there, turned over to Humber. Good pass by Gordon. But Brown can't finish. It'll be Earl's ball. Strong bounce pass, finding the seam of that defense to Jamie Gordon, but it's been the story of the night for Tanya Brown, unable to finish. Lopez, great pass to Maya. Gordon takes a shot at that air ball. And Medina come away with the rock back the other way. You're not seeing that full court press we saw earlier from Hubbard. Humber with a 23 point lead. And you're right, Adam, opting out of that press. Things looking good. A bit tighter for Humber. Here's Lopez with a great move. And she attacks the rim. Showing her diversity there under the rim. Usually a perimeter player, but nice drive there to the hoop. Humber now working defensively. Royals on the perimeter. Nice defense by Lopez. Ball up. Rebounded by Campbell Johnson. A nice physical play there by Jamie Gordon to punch that ball away from Redeemer. A quick transition by Humber, but the pass kind of gets away from them. Here's Mikaela Blackburn for the Royals. Leading the charge. Gordon knocked it out of bounds. It's going to be Redeemer's ball. Check this, Adam. Large substitution coming in for Humber. Three players in, three players out. Yeah, a set of fresh legs there for A.J. Sharma. She looks to keep the pace high. That's Ebony Fields. She'll be a presence under the rim. And Laura Meadows, who's been shut down all night on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see Laura Meadows back in action. Lopez, a little floater at the hoop. Rings out. No good, taken away by the Royals. A lot of veteran presence on the court currently for Humber. Sharma's going with his most trusted players here in the third quarter. Yeah, you said it, partner. Fifth year player Beals, fifth year player Lopez. Crafty veterans, and they'll go to work right now. Humber has the rock. And even on this first possession, you can see the chemistry that these girls have. The pass by Meadows finds a wide open Lopez. And the shot is close, but no cigar. Would have been an end to a pretty play, but in and out of the rim goes that shot. Yeah, would have liked to see Meadows pick up that assist. A great pass. 
Shots coming up here from Katrina Martin, second year player from Stony Creek. Yeah, nice aggressive move to the rim there, cutting around Ebony Beals, and she'll draw the foul. I'm sure she would have liked that and one, but she'll take these free shots. <laughs> one of two free throws made. Ooh, Meadows. Gets mauled under the net. Yeah, thought she could pull that one back in, but the ref says no, no, no. That one just rolls over the line. Pavlik's had the ball a bunch tonight, but often passes before shooting. Katrina Martin with a shot under the net. And she's fouled and will go back to the line. 74 points on the year you see there for Alex Webb. So she's been a key contributor. Laura Meadows picks up her third foul. And you get the impression if she can get her legs back under, if she can be a big contribution to this year's Hawks team. Yeah, she's been an absolute force. Always seems to know where she needs to be on the floor. Great positioning tonight. As head coach AJ Sharma said, once that conditioning comes and the rust is shaken off, she's going to be a huge part of this Hawks team moving forward. Tough move. Under pops up the ball back the other way. Nice no look layup. Kyla Blackbird. She's currently leading the Royals in points, so she'll need to get going if they hope to remain competitive in this game. Shot for Makiba Taylor doesn't go. Julia Pavlik quarterbacking the play for the Beamer. They're down by 20 now. Find themselves in quite a hole. Deep shot for Makiba Taylor. Nothing but net. She's currently three for three on the night from three-point range. Hasn't missed yet beyond the arc. Here's Meadows with the ball for Hunter. Throws it over to Taylor. A man with a three-point shot doesn't go. Taken away by the Warriors. I see a man get some minutes here, a first year. Hoping to make an impression on this squad. Missed shot by Redeemer. They're able to pick up their own rebound. Ten seconds on the shot clock. <laughs> Katrina Martin is just going to let that one fly. Won't fall. Rebounded by Beals. Redeemer has seemed to realize that they can't get into the interior of this Hawks defense. They seem pretty content with those perimeter shots so far. Jacobs works it to Beal. Off the glass. And that shot will not fall. with a nice move to the hoop for Redeemer, and she'll go to the line for the end. Pavlik's first field goal of the night. You mentioned her name quite a bit as a possession player, but now starting to contribute offensively as that one gets the Redeemer bench fired up. Yeah, no doubt about that, Adam. Let's we'll see if she can convert on the three-point play. No, she cannot. Rebounded by Makiba Taylor. Here come the Hawks. Kimba Johnson off the bench and quick. Two points. Great play from Makiba Taylor. Able to find the seam in that defense as she threads that pass into the hands of MCJ. Alex Webb over to Larissa Bowman. <laughs> Big block. A tremendous block by now Kimba Johnson. And there's another one. Another one. Two in a row. There goes a show you the absolute domination that MCJ is capable of on the basketball court. Two consecutive blocks. Meadows calls for the ball down low. Now she's going to work. Oh, can't get it to fall. Shot won't go, but that's exactly what you want to see out of Meadows, attacking the rim. 
There's the first missed three-pointer of the night from Michaela Blackburn. And she'll commit the immediate foul. Maybe a bit of a frustration play there. Jamie Gordon checking in for the Hawks. Meadows will head to the bench, take a well-deserved rest. Absolutely. I don't expect her to see be playing too big of minutes just yet as she is recovering from that injury. But nice to see her back in the lineup. She had her season debut last time out against U of T Mississauga. Taylor with a missed shot, rebounded by Gordon, and she's fouled on the second chance. Two shots coming up. Hummer sitting at four team fouls now. Jamie Gordon hoping to improve that free throw shooting. Just four of 12 on the season. Physical on Letitia Lopez. Coach Jesse Van Hallingen is going to sit number four. Letitia Lopez now at the line. Lady Luck, Letitia Lopez. Yeah, these free throws could be good here. Just getting that shooter rhythm down. Getting that muscle memory going. She's starting to heat up now, but. Hawks get the ball. Taylor inbounds it to Johnson. Back to Campbell Johnson. She's stripped. Good hustle by MCJ to get back to that one. Lopez with a three-point attempt that doesn't fall. Jamie Gordon working hard under the rim there. Yeah, that's really been the story all night when Gordon's been on the court, showing a lot of fight under the rim. Great movement there by McKeever Taylor, able to spin around that defender, drop that floater from the paint. Just over a minute to go here in the third. Ooh, nice move there by Alex Webb, but she ultimately will turn the ball over. Hawks have to get it over half here. And they'll do that. Lopez with the rock. She loses it by her feet. A tough pass to Gordon is picked off by the Royals. And the speed picks up, the sloppy play returns. Yeah, that shot looked good all the way. Alex Webb, all the way from Waterdown with that shot. Could be a lot more of that if you're the Royals. Three pointers in bunches if they want to remain in this one. Another outstanding rebound by Gordon. She's going to work tonight. Yeah, the physicality has been unmatched from Jamie Gordon as Redeemers really had no answer for her. She's playing with great aggression tonight. Out of bounds, looks like Britannia Brown touched that last, so it will be Redeemer ball. They're trailing 47 to 29. Rough go, as you mentioned, the first points of the night went the way of Redeemer, but since then, it's been a clinic put on by the Hawks defense. Just 29 points on the board for the Royals. Down low, Gordon can't come away with the pass. Great. She was wide open. Yeah, there was a beat on that pass from Akiba Taylor, but off the shoulder of Gordon. 
on the Hawk Sports Network. Yeah, that should be quite the contest. Followed by our very own Kyle Dahl and Andrew Milani. I think I saw that. There, there they are right there in the yeah, Already row. catching the women's action, getting ready for game time. Are the fellas? Looks like Milani got his hands on some popcorn. Absolutely, pre-game meal. Getting you ready to go for a big night of basketball. There's Lopez who on that replay, hit the dirt. It looks like she's okay. Yeah, as far as hustle goes, that's something you never need to question when you talk about Leticia Lopez. As she brings it each and every night, not her best night shooting, but she's definitely been a spark plug for this team. And worth mentioning, the head coach, AJ Sharma, enters uh, this game just two wins away from becoming the first coach in program history to win 150 career games. And we saw his all-time record off the top of the broadcast, 148 wins, 23 losses. Not too shabby of a record for the coach who's been at the helm for almost eight years now. In his eighth year, and boy, if he hangs around with this program, when all is said and done, he could really put up some historic numbers in a Humber athletic program that's used to seeing tremendous coaching. And look at our volleyball programs, Wayne and Chris Wilkins, the brothers with 25 and 26 years of coaching between them. Yeah, those Wilkins brothers sure have a lot to do with the nickname Banderville when it comes to Humber. Humber with their 50th CCAA title earlier this year with men's soccer puts them alone in Canadian collegiate sport. Not too shabby, not to toot our own horn, but that's an amazing accomplishment by the entire athletic department. As Gordon continues her hot night. Here come the Royals. They're down by 20. We got one quarter to work with. And that's exactly what you gotta do. Alyssa Zildi putting up a three-pointer there. Yeah, the ladies from Redeemer like that one. Their first year player, Zilney. Yeah, if you're a Royals player, best not to keep an eye off the scoreboard. Right back is Leticia Lopez with her own three-pointer. Look at Lopez with a feisty play there. Ooh, great pass to Gordon. And off the glass, credit Leticia Lopez with all the effort on that one. And if you wanted to find Lopez in one play, that might be the one. Feisty play to strip the ball, gets her hands on it, makes a pass from the seat of her pants. Yeah, you know, feisty is the word. Lopez can really get fired up in these games, and sometimes there'll be some back and forth with an opposing player, and that seems to bring out the best in her. I've seen it time and time again. You do not mess with Leticia Lopez. Absolutely. She may be small. What does she stand at? Standing at just five foot three, so definitely one of the smaller players on this roster, but not one you went on get on the wrong side on it. She's been a competitive force all season long. Be polite to Leticia Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last time we saw her at the Hawks Nest, that was against Sheridan, picked up player of the game. So she's been known to put on quite the performance. Obviously some shots tonight she'd like to have back, but she's really been having her team fired up here in the second half. Taylor at the line will convert on that free throw and put the Hawks up by 22. Score here is 55 to 33. Deep shot, that'll go. That's a three-pointer from Alyssa Zilman. 
So it may be all they have, but these perimeter shots are going down with some efficiency for Redeemer. They're still a long ways out from reaching the 55 on the board for the Hawks, but with these quick three-pointers, they're at least making it interesting. Royals with another deep shot. Now it's Julia Pavlik trying to follow up with another three. Here comes Lopez the other way. Gordon with the three-pointer. <laughs> so great. Isn't it? Giles, who's sitting this one out with an injury, getting her bench fired up. She likes what she's seen out of Jamie Gordon in the squad. I can't wait to have Janae Giles back in the lineup. She's such a high-energy player. Really one of those experienced leaders for Humber in her fourth year with the team. Absolutely. She's very strong at keeping her teammates accountable. Yeah, those vocal players on the very can really hold the team together, keep everyone accountable and on the same page. Definitely missing her presence this evening, but the Hawks are faring okay. They're up by 22 right now. Just Absolutely. But even sitting in her street clothes, she's taking on the role of assistant coach tonight as she's been letting her teammates know what, where they need to be and what they need to do. So her presence still being felt on the court tonight. Second free throw from Campbell Johnson coming up right now. It's good. Substitution coming in. Number 21, Laura Meadows. As Campbell Johnson will take a seat. Pavlik leading the charge for Redeemer. Good defensive play. Yeah, Redeemer really trying to press the issue there, but nothing doing against his Hawks defense. And nice play there by Britannia Brown to give up that open shot and try to dish it inside of Jamie Gordon, able to draw the foul under the basket. So Gordon shooting two. Just a 33.3% three, average free throw shooting for Gordon on the season, but that'll raise up as she went one for two there. Redeemer. Trying to work the ball inside. They're gonna say Meadows was too strong. So she'll pick up her first personal foul. Yeah, you got a feel for Meadows there. In perfect positioning. Oh, she timed that reach in well, but it is called. And she tries to adjust to the speed of this level of competition. Physical play under the net, a missed layup by Redeemer. And Humber comes away with it. Here's Meadows. And that's what we're used to seeing from number 21. Nice step move to the hoop. Off the glass and in. And that's got to feel good for her. All the work she's put in to get back on the court. And see that one drop in for two. It's got to be pretty nice if you're Laura Meadows. And now she's on defense. They're doing a great job. She Steals takes that one away from Brinkman. Lucy Brink's truck Brinkman. <laughs> Dropped up, Jamie Gordon back the other way with quick two. Good work by Gordon to catch up with a fast break there and deposit that one into the basket. Down low. It's been Here's a fun matchup. Yeah, you said it, partner. Meadows and Brinkman going at it. Possession after possession. And once again, a foul goes the way of Meadows, much to her dismay. <laughs> And Coach A.J. Sharma gives her a shrug. That's all right. That's what we want out of her. Some strong physical play on the way of Meadows. Yeah, Humber sitting with a comfortable 29-point lead. And at this point, just a matter of getting some first-year players some minutes, letting Laura Meadows, Meadows find her stride. 
And it's a good thing that a game like this, when you're able to establish a lead, get the offense going, offers you an opportunity to work on some other aspects of your game. Yeah, absolutely. Not too much threat at drop in this one as the score sits well out of reach here late in the fourth quarter. So as you mentioned, why not get some depth players up in this lineup and see what they can do. A game coming up on Saturday. Why not keep the legs fresh if you can? If you're a yeah, no doubt. And that's one thing that Humber's had the opportunity to do throughout the years is with such a dominant program, you have those games where you can really spread the minutes around and get players in their first year, second year, some playing time. And then you have a very experienced group going forward. And it's a nice sign to see. I mean, obviously, you look the way of Maya Campbell-Johnson and Leticia Lopez, who have had good games, don't get me wrong, but they haven't been lighting up the stat sheet. So being able to hold nearly a 30-point lead with without all cylinders firing, got to be pretty comforting thought for Sharma and his coaching staff. Folks, if Kyle Dalton is sounding a little sluggish on the call next game for the men's game, maybe because he's really attacking that popcorn over there. Yeah, we've seen both of our broadcasting partners uh, elbow deep in those popcorn bags. Well, take it easy, guys. Shot from Lopez is good. And Leticia Lopez has gotten fired up here. And she's come alive. Yeah, we knew that cold streak wouldn't last all game as she's dropping those three pointers with some frequency. Shot put up. Akiba Taylor was a bit late to get back on her shooter. Yeah, and all the credit goes there to Alex Webb as she puts up that three pointer there to collect her own rebound and draw the foul. Nice work by Webb to create some offense for herself. Rebounded by Ebony Beals. Here's Makiba Taylor. Over to Jacobs. Humber just hanging out on the perimeter. Ooh, a strong move to the hoop. Hamida teasing Cole. The fresh face on the floor as we talk about the depth players coming into this game. And she gets on the stat sheet early. Amita to John Cole. And now she'll strip the ball away defensively. How about that? Both sides of the court. Yeah, pretty impressive first minute there for T.J. Cole. Looks like she's got a shoelace untied. Taylor making her way to the hoop. Boy, just physical play. Yeah, Pavlik no match for her there as she's able to get that shot off, but off the base of the rim it goes and pops right back out. And all night long, there's been absolutely no room for the Redeemer Royals to work. These Hawk defenders have been face to face with the Royals all night long. Just under four minutes to go. Boy, a bit of a That's messy a situation under the net for Humber. Scary play there, but Lopez finishes it off on the other end. That was one on four. Leticia Lopez all by herself. Finds a way to convert that one. Yeah, Lopez one of the few players that might take those odds one on four. She nearly always finds a way to make something happen. Yeah, when she's playing like this, when she gets fired up, there's no stopping Leticia Lopez. You got to think That's of her fat. mindset. I'm pretty sure she's aware she was one for six in that first half. And Knowing her, I'm sure she wasn't too thrilled about it. So nice to see her get her scoring touch back as she's been leading the way in this second half. She's on pace to break the all-time three-pointers made in a season record. Although a performance today might slow down that quest a little bit. Oh, quick shot by Ebony Beals. Rebounded by, by Anang. Anang. And now it's Pavlik. Foul called there. When the Royals have been looking for some offense, it's been those two players there, Pavlik and Blackburn, who they've relied on time and time again. 
That is Michaela Blackburn at the line. That shot won't go for Blackburn, rebounded by Ebony Beals. Movement by Humber over to Lopez. Three-pointer won't go. You look at the Hawks attack the basketball right away, drawing that travel call. That's Ebony Beals along with other who put the pressure on right away after that rebound. And Adam, if you had to pick a player of the game for Humber, who's getting your vote right now? It's tough. Obviously, MCJ has had quite the performance, had quite the night. Even Lopez has come on strong. I like what I've seen out of these depth players. T.J. Cole coming on strong as well as Anang, both playing well. It's been quite an even night for these Hawks players as no one star has shined. It's been a team effort. Big steal by Lopez over to Jacobs. Ooh, like the idea, get a little fancy with behind the back pass, but nothing doing there. Evidently there's a scout for the Globetrotters in the audience and Jacobs doing her best effort to catch their attention. Yeah, when you're up by 35, that's the perfect time to break out that new pass you've been working on in practice. For the razzle-dazzle. Lopez two getting her hand in things. Final two minutes of play. Rebounded by Lopez. Fox moving it up the court now. Deals with the right idea. Pushing it down low to, to John Cole. Yeah, John Cole was wide open there for just a moment, but nice hustle there from Lukey, Lucy Brinkman, able to charge back and swat that one away. So the Hawks closing this one out. That'll move them to 40 and 0 all time against the Royals. Beals gets that one to go. That free throw by Beals is good. Pavlik. Leading the charge for the Royals. Lucy Berkman is fouled and she'll go to the line. Humber right now leading by a score of 77 to 39. Yeah, this one is all but done now as we're wrapping up this one. It's just a formality for a Deemer. Keep those eyes off the scoreboard and just try to put some points on the board. But it's been quite the dominating night by the defense of the Humber Hawks. Nice rebound by Ebony. Great pass by Beals. Yeah, quick transition play to a man. And she will make the wide open layup. We got a rapid fire pace here in the last minute and a half. Out of bounds, Humber ball. Redeemer averages 61 points on the season, so to see him not even put up 40 tonight is quite the shock. And you got to tip your hat to the work done by Ebony Beals, Jamie Gordon, and the entire Humber defense. Pavlik off the glass, quick transition play. Give Three on two one. more points. Yeah, good solo effort. Easy conversion there. Hawks now just running out the clock. Yeah, 30 seconds left in the game. Nice three-pointer there from Evelyn and Nang. This game out of hand, but the bench sure doesn't mind as they're getting fired up for the first year of Nang. Yeah, she's got seven on the evening. 
Stolen away by Jacobs. 18 seconds left. Yeah. Anang looking for two more. She doesn't get it. Yeah, they really seem to be forcing the ball the way of Anang. And she's really shown here in this fourth quarter. Blackburn with another three. And that might be the last points we see. The Royals sitting at 44. The Hawks are going to dribble this one out. There's the final buzzer. The number 11 nationally ranked Humber Hawks are going to come away with a win at home. Final score, 82 to 44. How about this performance tonight, Adam Lucier? From buzzer number one to the final buzzer we just heard, it's complete and utter do domination by the way of the Hawks. Physically just unmatched for this Redeemer team. Ebony Beals, Jamie Gordon, Maya Campbell Johnson. They were just unable to get the ball away from the Humber Hawks and they took full advantage. So they get a warm ovation from this home crowd. Player of the game for the Humber Hawks was just announced. It's Ebony Beals. Well deserved. She had quite the night. Really the spark that her team needed. Yeah, and she will be swarmed by her teammates. Make that seven straight. Nice little streak going here for the Hawks as Ebony Beals takes that team photo to celebrate this one. Good effort here from both teams. A bit of a rough start, kind of a low energy night, but both teams finding their groove. Hawks eventually pulling away and really setting the tone defensively. Yeah, if you're a fan of offensive basketball, this may have not been your night, but entertaining nonetheless as the Hawks pull away strongly in this one. I'm sure Sharma has some things to work on for this upcoming game on Saturday, but has to like what he's seen out of the hustle from the ladies. Blackburn with 15 points for the Royals. Tisha Lopez coming away with 19 and even on a quiet night where we remark that she's having a hard time getting going still comes away with 19 and with the player of the game on the sidelines is Danielle Dupuy. Hi and welcome back to the nest. My name is Danielle Dupuy and I'm here at the player of the game Ebony Bales. It's honestly going out there today. You guys are a little bit the, for the first half. How'd that go for you? Um, first half we were a little rocky. But coaches came to us, they talked to us, saying we gotta step up. We prepare, it's true, we prepare all week for these games. And for us not to perform like how we did today is unacceptable. So we definitely You picked it up near the end and now you guys have double header. What is it? Saturday you're playing again, so any thoughts going into that game? Um just play hard. St. Clair is a really good team. I know they knocked down Fanshawe the last time they played them, so our mentality is go hard. Don't take no one for granted. The league's anyone's, so yeah. Thank you, Ebony, and back to your commentators. Thank you. Thank you, Danielle. Ebony Beals, a tremendously hard worker on any given day. You can catch here, catch her here in the gym working on her free throws, what have you. Outstanding performance from the whole Hawks squad, and we'll turn it over for the men's game coming right up on the Hawks Sports Network. For my broadcast partner, Adam Lucher, and myself, Matt Hamill, we'll catch you next time.